more problem students you have to do by your own here observe that one infinite current filament of 10 amperes lies on y axis along y direction and another infinite current filament of 20 amperes lies on z axis along minus z direction you have to find out the magnetic field intensity at this point okay this is the hint since it is an infinite i upon 2 pi rho along phi direction since it is an infinite is it okay now coming back to the problems on magnetic field intensity on a circular loop or circular coil we know that i rho square upon 2 times rho square plus h square whole power 3 by 2 along z direction ampere per meter okay this is the radius of the circular coil then it is the distance from the coil or ring now coming back to the problem a circular loop located on x square plus y square is equal to 9 or z is equal to 0 plane carries a dc current direct current of 10 amperes along phi direction we have to determine the magnetic field intensity at this point and also this point observe that this is h this is minus h we know that in both the situations the formula is same why because h square then 4 square or minus 4 square the result is same okay x square plus y square is equal to 9 then x square plus y square is equal to 3 square then from this we can get the value of rho why because rho is equal to square root of x square plus y square by comparing rho is equal to 3 and the given current is 10 amperes we know that h vector is equal to i rho square upon 2 times rho square plus h square whole power 3 by 2 unit vector along z direction ampere per meter the point is 0 comma 0 comma 4 this is the distance from the ring this is the h okay 10 into the rho is 3 square divided by 2 into 3 whole square plus 4 square whole power 3 by 2 after substituting this we have this then we know that h bar at 0 comma 0 comma minus 4 4 and minus 4 both gives the same result okay then this is the homework to you a circular loop of 3 unit radius that means they have given the rho center at origin in z is equal to 0 plane and carries a dc current of 10 milliampere i they have given along phi direction we have to find out the magnetic flux density at 0 comma 0 comma 4 that means after h you have to find out the magnetic flux density b is equal to mu times h since they didn't given anything then you have to assume that it is a free space then what is the value of mu naught mu naught is equal to sorry mu naught is equal to 4 pi into 10 to the power of minus 7 henry per meter is it clear minus 7 is it okay now coming back to the next problem okay observe that a thin ring of radius 5 centimeter rho is 5 is placed on where z is is equal to 1 centimeter so that its center is at the center is at 0 comma 0 comma 1 centimeter if the ring carries 50 milliampere along phi direction we have to find out the magnetic field intensity at this two point now let us assume this is cartesian coordinate system see here a thin ring of radius 5 centimeter is placed on z is equal to 1 centimeter okay this is z is equal to 1 then 5 centimeter ring is placed is it clear okay now we have to find out the magnetic field intensity at 0 comma 0 comma minus 1 centimeter observe that this is the distance from the ring we have to find out here and we have to find out here is it clear first of all i'm going to this 0 comma 0 comma this is minus 1 since z in the negative axis now observe that what is the distance from the ring this is 1 this is 1 2 centimeter then h becomes what 2 centimeter then rho is equal to 5 centimeter they have given i is equal to 50 milliampere this is the formula distance from the ring to the point is 2 centimeter then this is the h value okay after substituting this we have this value is it clear now observe very carefully the second point 0 comma 0 comma 10 centimeter then observe the figure 0 comma 0 comma 10 then the positive z axis 10 then the ring is at the 1 centimeter z axis then what is the distance from the ring to that point 9 centimeter therefore h becomes what 9 centimeter the remaining parameters are same this is the okay a formula to find out this now coming back to the problem on solenoid please refer to the notes is it clear the same question i have explained in the notes please refer one second is it clear all of you solenoid now very important problem on toroid before going to discuss about the problem on toroid this is toroid we know that okay we know that inside the toroid what is the magnetic field zero outside the toroid what is the magnetic field zero that means we know that within the toroid 
we have a magnetic field is it clear now if you observe that rho naught i have considered it is the radius of toroid in the inner section then what is the thickness of this toroid means a then what is the radius of the outer section means rho naught plus a then i have considered the amperian path with the radius of rho that means rho should be between rho naught and rho naught plus a is it clear now go back to the problem we know that <coughs> Remember friends once again don't look the size of the problem just go to the concept a toroid of circular cross section whose center is at origin and the axis the same as the z axis how many number of turns they have given 1000 that means n they have given with rho naught that means inner section mean radius what is that 10 cm okay ye radius of the cross circular section what is that 1 cm that means totally what is the radius of the outer section 11 cm if the toroid carries a what is the current 100 milliampere current we have to find out the magnetic field intensity at this point 3 minus 4 0 and 6 9 0 is it clear now go back to that 3 minus 4 0 rho radius of the amperian path to exit h rho should be between rho naught and rho naught plus a what is the rho naught they have given 10 centimeters rho naught plus a rho naught that is outer section 10 plus a 1 is it clear 11 centimeter now find out the rho which is equal to square root of this and this square it becomes 5 centimeter that means it is inside the toroid therefore what is the magnetic field 0 now go back to this 6 9 0 then rho becomes square root of 6 centimeter whole square plus 9 centimeter whole square which is equal to 10.81 see this is inside the tor sorry within the toroid therefore h is exist therefore this is the rho value i am going to consider then i am going to determine magnetic field intensity is equal to ni upon 2 pi rho unit vector along z direction ampere per meter then n is equal to 1000 i is equal to 100 milliampere rho is equal to 10.8166 then h vector after substituting with this is it clear all of you okay this is the problems on what toroids is it clear thank you